All right, guys, it's Monday afternoon. Last Friday, we had our fish retailing system up and running. Chris and I were actually started up on the second fish retailing system when all of a sudden I hear a pop, pop, pop. That's right. Pop, pop. <laughs> Sure enough, I look over at our system and I look down the wall and the whole wall is bowed out by a good probably 18 inches or so. So we frantically run and I wish I could have filled it all but we didn't have time to stop. We run to go grab pumps and tanks. We need to start pumping the water out of this thing because it was about to explode. And better it happening now than happening uh, a year from now. I feel like I want to cry right now. This is a major, major, major setback in our time frame as far as getting this whole fish retailing experience done. What happened was we under-engineered the tiebacks that were tying the wall that uh, separated the bog filter right here from the pond and we underestimated the amount of weight and pressure that the bog filter was putting on this two by four wall that separated the two. If you remember, we had three or four two by four tie backs, tying them to a sill plate that we attached to the wall and then attached to the separating wall between the bog and the pond. We figured that the weight of the water in the pond would equalize out the amount of pressure and really keep that wall pretty vertical as well. Turns out that was not the case. The thing was built what we thought was bomb proof. There were no holes in the liner, it was holding water. But when, when everything kind of pulled apart, we have no idea if it popped a hole in the liner. Rather than taking the chance, thinking that the liner was still watertight, we decided we had to rip everything out because we weren't sure if the bulkheads were still good, the liner itself. Unfortunately, we have to rip it all down and start over. It's a very somber day here at Aqualand for us, but it's a day in the life. You know, we're figuring this stuff out as we go, and I guarantee you we are going to over-engineer it this next time around. Again, just a small bump in the road, but it's a challenge and we'll get over it. Let's keep rolling. Almost like this is the second time we're doing this. So we got the liner going back in this morning. Get this all buttoned up and we can start rebuilding our bog. Use our new reinforced highbacks and we should be good to go. So our new tie backs are in, as you can see, we put these little gussets in here to hopefully strengthen all that up. These are now two by sixes on the sill plate. And then a two by six is a tie back as well. And we have two more going in here. So we have a total of six of these tie backs. We got three more new ones going in. So this thing should be rock solid. We also use these timber lock screws. So hopefully that takes care of any issues that we have. What do you guys think? You think it's gonna hold? I think so, man. I'll show this cast is real sturdy as you can see. Oh, look at that. And that's a real test right there. We got gravel going in one more time and we're going to get this thing filled up in just the next couple seconds. Why don't we go see what Brian has in store for us today. I believe we are going to start working on the other side now that the main fish retailing area with all the separated tanks is basically done. I have no idea what he's got planned. All I, I've seen part of the drawing, but I think he changed some stuff overnight. So let's see what he's got in store for us. I don't see him. Where is, oh, there he is. What are you doing hiding over there? You didn't want to wait for me? Framing out the walls for, uh the second fish retailing area right now. So we've got some two by four walls that have to go in basically because we have to run plumbing mm -hmm. in between them. And I have to double up these walls just for strength and stability. Once we get those up, then we can start running with railroad ties around a lot of this. Like these guys. Like those uh -huh. guys. I noticed you got really, really busy putting up what looks like a brick wall. 
<laughs> Where we're standing right now is gonna be a deck, but more importantly, the bog filters underneath. The back side, we recycled these things from the old fish retailing area. Yep. So these are structurally solid. These things are like 65 pounds a piece, and we have like 60 of them. Do you know how our motto was always ask for forgiveness over permission? Well, yes. Roberto, our warehouse manager, didn't much appreciate that. What did you do? We set the bricks off of this line, which is correct. Okay. I was supposed to set them on the inside of this line, not Wait. the outside. So this this whole wall, I I think I'm putting two to, <laughs> two and two together. We need to move oh, it. Oh man! The, Roberto's racking here. They need to come in with a forklift and turn. And this doesn't give them a whole lot of room for uh, error. We have to take this whole wall, push it in 12 inches. But what I suggest doing is waiting for the guys to get back from Punta Gorda or Iguana Land over there mm -hmm. and have them help us because those things suck. Moving <laughs> my back, my back hurt for a while after moving all those things. We're making some great progress over here, but we are gonna to continue to make even more progress today. We're gonna to be doing all of the timber walls for the monitor, alligator snapping turtle, and painted turtle enclosure. Holy cow, everybody! We got a special guest appearance over here today. I think he's hiding in the flesh. I was acting like an alligator snapper. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You should have bit my hand off, find you. <laughs> Oh boy, huh? Huh? Big smiles. The last timber. That's awesome. Oh, that light lighting is just terrible. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, oh yeah. Last timber is in for all the timber framing. Now it's time to get to the two by four walls that are gonna be sitting seven feet above this enclosure. It's getting nuts! Can I come to the ball? <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think? We made pretty good progress today. I mean, we went through more than a pallet of timbers. Mm -hmm. It's just cool to kind of start seeing the shape and the vision start coming together. Remember like the big waterfalls are gonna be over in this space. Yep. We definitely uh, went with the ask for forgiveness before permission and she did it a little bit further into the warehouse, but look at how much more space we have here. So I, what I like is now our waterfalls can sit back in here and then we can do the bog filter more in this section rather than in here, which gives us a lot more open pond. So your space. brain, your brain's already working. Oh yeah, Chris, it never stops. Yeah. We might even, and we even gave Woody a little bit more space. Like we pulled this out. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I ever shared with you, but I want to put one of those fake trees that we have like right in here. Cool. And if we could figure out a way to get this deck piece. To cut it around the trunk or something? Into this and then so the mm. tree looks like it's supporting this deck before you walk back down to this area. It'll look cool. I'm looking forward to the point where we try to figure out how to get this big giant piece of glass mm -hmm. in here. I think there was we had a window here, here, and here. So we just gotta finish framing things up, right? Oh, and then uh, what we talked about, you know, because there's a 10 foot high wall that finishes this, this off. Yeah which will make this feel really, really big from the window. But before that wall goes in, we'll maybe drop a couple big natural boulders in here. So we'll get the bog filter, we'll get the timbers in, fabric, liner, bog filter laid out, and then start playing around with uh, how we're gonna do everything else. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, we have Nick, Juan, and Micho back from their exploits in Florida. Did you guys have a good time? Awesome. Okay, good. So we are all together again. It feels great because now we're gonna make killer progress that we have the full squad. We are framing out, what are we doing here, Nick? We are framing out what? Basically, we're framing out this front wall, basically. Basically. So this will be a double wall, kind of like we have on the other side. The reason for that is uh, we need two things, structural rigidity, because there's gonna be so much weight with that water pushing up against this front wall. And also, there is a possibility that we might be adding a little viewing window in here. So by framing this out with two by fours rather than the timbers, that'll allow us to come back if we make that decision at a later date. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Hi mom, we're going to Disneyland.
that is the last scrap piece that we're pulling out. We made incredible progress. I can't tell you how awesome it is to have everybody back together because we made so much progress. Nick and Matt got this double wall framed out perfectly. Juan Micho, myself, and Matt all finished that wall over there. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get fabric and liner in, figure out where our front wall for our bog filter is gonna sit, and then that'll determine where we put some of this foam insulation on the floor and on the walls to help protect that liner as we're putting stuff on top of it. So that's where we're at next, but before then, what time is it, Juan? Lunch. Every day's lunch for you. All right, there we go. As you can see with the pink insulation behind me, that part of this is done. Next step is fabric, liner, more fabric. Then we are going to start building our walls inside of the pond here. So this is gonna be a brick wall that's gonna hold back the wetland filter, which is over here. This is all pond, and then we're gonna run another brick wall inside this channel to partition off this section of the pond with this section of the pond. And there's going to be three separate tanks built inside of this area here to house different types of fish or different sizes of fish, or we'll use them as either quarantine tanks or show place tanks for certain fish. This is all part of the big pond, wetland filter in here, and then a neat little area right here, which will be a viewing area for the entire pond, as well as where the reptile enclosure was gonna go. We got going here, Nick. Unwrapping a present, then rewrapping. And then rewrapping a present. So the goal here, obviously, is to get as many of these folds out as possible because of all of these right angles inside the water feature. What would you call those? Convex and concave. So what would you call them? Opposing That's not... right angles. Opposing right angles. See, he's way smarter than he looks. So the reason we have all this excess liner is so that we can get maybe one big fold at each corner instead of a bunch of little folds, making it very difficult. Um, as you can see over here to really start doing these corners and we want it to be a nice clean look so we ended up having to use a bunch of seam tape over here we're hoping to avoid that on this side Well guys, I think we made the best out of what was a minor disaster here at Aqualand with the fish retail area behind me. Unfortunately, Brian and I have to head to Australia, so we're gonna jet set actually tonight. So we've got about 28 or 30 hours of travel ahead of us. Hopefully we can film all those exploits and show them to you in an upcoming video very, very, very soon. While we're gone, Nick and the rest of the team are gonna continue working on the liner, getting the walls in and creating that whole swimming with the fish retail experience on the other side. Until then, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and click that little bell so you're notified of all the new content that Team Aquascape's coming up with. Peace.